Do you have old jewelry that you don't wear anymore? Did you inherit jewelry from a family member? What do you do to get rid of old jewelry? That's what we'll talk about in today's video. Hi, I'm Kelly Vandiver. I'm a real estate agent here in the Alpharetta, Georgia area with Keller Williams, North Atlanta. How do you get rid of old jewelry? My mother passed away more than 20 years ago, and probably because I'm her only daughter, I was given all of her old jewelry. My mom didn't wear a lot of jewelry, so it wasn't much. In fact, uh, this ring is probably the, the one thing of hers that I wear on a regular basis. Earlier this year, my stepmother passed away, and my stepmother had a lot of jewelry. Uh, she really did love jewelry. So I had a few of her things, I had a few of my mom's things, I had some of old jewelry that I didn't wear anymore, and so I went ahead and figured out how I was gonna get rid of this jewelry. My first call was to a jeweler I knew that bought and sold gold. I had met him at a networking meeting here in the Alpharetta area, and I called him up and I warned him. I said, I don't know if any of this jewelry has any value at all. It might all be costume jewelry. He said, don't worry about it. Load it all up, bring it all in. So here's some video I took while I was there. I'm here at Atlanta Diamond Design. It's in Cumming, Georgia. And if you know the Avenues area, it's right next to Cheeky's, the Mexican place. And here's the phone number for you have that. For reference. They do complimentary cleaning, which I think is pretty cool. So go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Tell them. Hi, uh, hi everybody. <laughs> My name is Izzy Israeli. Um, I am a professional uh, jeweler with a lot of mileage on, <laughs> on my back and uh, I do this for any customer that is interesting in uh, knowing if they have any good stuff or any junk and as you can see this was a box full of stuff and over here we already found some items that she would be able to cash out and get money for and you can see that he's gone through a big stack of things that didn't have any value so I, I warned him when I came over that there might not be anything of value here but he's willing to do this for anybody and I warned her that if I find something and it's good and she won't sell it to me she'll have to pay me a hundred dollars an hour that's my fees and I would even be willing to come to your house to do this but um, you need to be um, sincere and wanting to understand that I need to make a living, so you're gonna have to sell me stuff or pay me $100 an hour. And that seemed fair to me, I thought. So, thank you, Izzy. You're welcome. After selling what I could, I figured some of the ladies in the family might enjoy having some of this jewelry, so I put my OCD tendencies to good work, and I took a ton of pictures of all these jewelry pieces and labeled them. Okay, one quick hint about labeling. Don't do like I did. I started with A, B, C. By the time I got to Z, 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 I realized I needed a different labeling scheme. So then I switched to something that was related to the piece and then a number. So for instance, B for bracelet, W for watch, and then put the numbers in after that. Because one of my other superpowers happens to be using PowerPoint, I put all those images into a PowerPoint slide, then converted it to a PDF document. Unfortunately, not all my family members could open the PDF document. It was really large because of all the images. So what I did next is I took that PowerPoint and converted it to a video. I uploaded that video to YouTube, made it unlisted, and then sent the link to all my family members. As I looked over the jewelry, I asked family members to prioritize what they wanted with number one being the thing they wanted most and so on. And I was surprised about how little overlap there was. In fact, everybody except one person got everything that, were, that they wanted that was on their list. What I liked about this approach was that everybody got a chance to get a piece of jewelry from a loved one. And also, you know, it's fun to get free stuff. If you're not sure what to do with the remaining jewelry, you might wanna watch my video about how to donate to charity. 
there's a link to that in the notes below. So that's what I did with the jewelry items. You could use the same process for other collectibles, I'm sure. Hope this video was helpful in making your move easier.